hi everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to Friday craft day and today it's going to be holy bubble Batman <laughs> we're going to work on a bubble wreath I have this blue and white checked mesh that I got um, it's really was at the end of the patriotic season I guess people were using it for patriotic reasons um, I'm going to make a bubble out of this and I'm going to put a temporary bow uh, of probably just a beige bow um, from Dollar Tree ribbon because I want to look to see what I have for fall ribbons that I might be able to utilize because I think we can make this look fall but I can't do that today because my ribbons are up above my head in my work area downstairs and I can't get them down by myself or I could but I'm not going to try because I'd have to climb a ladder to do that so we're going to make this wreath and I'm going to give you a little uh, surprise at the end to show you something you can do with bubble wreaths and I don't know if you've done it before but it's kind of interesting so hang in there and let's get busy making a bubble wreath I'm going to bring you down to the table I'm working upstairs today for two reasons it's another a hot and humid uh, day and it's hot downstairs plus the fact that I am in the midst of cleaning this area getting ready for the fall and Christmas things that I'll be doing and you know when I start cleaning I make more of a mess than I had before I started because I pull everything out and and get it try to get it organized and right now you can't even see the top of my work surface down there so I'm using my dining room table and I'm actually sitting down. I don't think I've ever made a wreath sitting down before. We'll see what happens. Maybe I won't be able to see what I'm doing and I'll have to stand up. But anyway, let me get this camera organized so that we can um, get this bubble going and I'll be right back. Hang in there. Okay, I think you can see me here. And I'm going to start with my blue mesh and I'm going to gather it at the top starting these as we always do this is a very inexpensive mesh but it's usually you can get away with inexpensive mesh when you're doing a bubble wreath so I'm just going to bring a zip tie through and around and let's tie this on and I started at a crossbar it just helps to keep it from sliding around and this I'm going to just stick down underneath and we'll address that when we get back okay now here I have a box of pipe cleaners that are cut in half and you can see there's every color in the rainbow in here and I thought you know this is a perfect opportunity to use these up because in a bubble wreath you don't see the um, pipe cleaners or zip ties if that's what you're using except on the back and if you're going to put something like a placemat or a piece of flannel across the back you'd never know what was there so I'm going to use those and we'll get rid of some of these that are already cut instead of cutting a whole bunch more all right I'm gonna do uh, I don't have a ruler here so this will be one two three method about a 10 inch bubble right back to where I started and it is I'm using the middle two rows of this frame which is a 14 inch frame from Dollar Tree And this mesh is a little different. It's soft. It feels soft. So I'm not sure how nice the bubbles will be, but I think they're going to be fine. Okay. And this is one that you could make if you know if you get some of this I'm sorry 
I'm going to have to bring you up a little bit. Hold on a second. Let me bring the camera up a little. I'm not in your frame. There we go. That's better. Um, this is the kind of wreath that you can make like ahead of time when you get product that is uh, seasonal and you know at the end of the season when you're getting it inexpensively and then you can make yourself a bubble and decorate it appropriately when you want to use it. Now yell at me if I go out of frame. <laughs> So we just pull it right back to where I was. I'm going around the middle too. And you, you can also use zip ties if you'd like. But I just thought this is a good way to use up these half Pipe cleaners. Sorry, I was dri whoops, dri drifting off there for a minute. Well, we have a little bit of unsettling news. I live in a um, manufactured home community, and it's a very large one. And there's a number of people who live here all year round, as we do and more of those now than there used to be. But up until this week, we had had no uh, cases of the virus within our walls, you might say. But now we have two. And so it's kind of unsettling because although we're not on each, in each other's faces, we're actually quite spread out because there's so many houses here and there's only a few of us that are here all summer. But, um, you know, it, your safety bubble sort of disappeared. But then why should we be any different than any other community? So you have to take the same precautions no matter where you live. I will tell you, I have been a fan of Walmart pickup, grocery pickup, for years, well, not for years, for as long as it's been here. I think I was in line there the very first week they had it. And so it's not new, but of course now it's become very popular because people do not want to go in stores Gee, this is coming out beautiful. What a beautiful bubble that's making. Look at this. I'm impressed. My goodness. And I've got two rolls of this, so I'll be able to make another one. <laughs> I'm in the second section now. Um, so anyway, it's become very popular. And for a while, it was difficult to even get a pickup time. It seems to be better now. And they have an early pickup time from 7 to 8 for, I guess you'd call them high-risk people. Oldies but goodies. <laughs> people with underlying conditions or just the age. Which is an underlying condition. <laughs> and so I'm going tomorrow to get mine anyway at 7 o'clock in the morning. My favorite time of day. But don't call me after 8 o'clock at night because I'll probably be in bed. I spent so many years as an RN having to be at work early that I'm just not a night person. And I love the early morning. There's nothing nicer than to go somewhere 
like a, a car ride in the very early morning. Everything looks fresh and new and wow I am impressed with this. Look at this. So, what have you all been doing for crafts? I see a lot of people showing up on my Facebook crafting, crafting page. And if you haven't been there, I'll leave the link down in the description box of how to get there. And uh, it's not just for wreaths. It's however, whatever you like to craft, because crafters aren't necessarily st stuck in one area. I mean, if you're a wreath maker that you make them to sell, then I understand why you do one thing and you do it very well, and that's a good way to make a living. But if you're like me, you like playing with all kinds of stuff. The next section. Okay, three. And it's very simple to make a bubble. You just pull it out and push it back right up next to the one you just had, just did, and tie it down. The biggest thing to remember is to keep these pieces here, the raw edge and the raw edge, to keep them underneath. And that makes you able to open the bubble once you have it attached. I just ordered Craft Outlet yesterday, so I'll be doing a couple of uh, projects with some materials when that comes in. They still are so far out of everything. Gee, anything I was looking for, not in stock. Email for availability. But I was able to find enough to do two projects. One would be a Halloween wreath. I had to take my old Halloween wreath apart. You know, that's what happens with these wreaths. After a while, in two or three years or so, they just kind of look worn and tired. So I had one that had a witch's hat and some witch's legs on it, and I had to take it apart. So we're going to be making another wreath to put those legs and hat back on. Boy, this is so pretty. Look at this. Okay, I've just about, I think I could squeeze another one in this section, but I don't need to. So I'm going to move on to the next section. I love the way bubbles feel. And you know, oh, I am going to put one more in here. Um, my Dollar Tree, I went the other day, and I really hate going to stores, but, you know, I put my mask on and bring my hand sanitizer, and it was kind of a waste because they didn't have any 
wreath forms out. I'm not really in need of a wreath form. But they didn't have any out. They must have, you know, they're just transitioning. And actually transitioning to back to school. So I did pick up um, a couple of items to make a Dollar Tree project. And I have another Dollar Tree project to make with those, is it, they call Jenga blocks that we made a project with the other day. So we'll probably be doing one of those next week while we're waiting for supplies to arrive. Okay, I'm starting, I'm about halfway through actually, the next section. So I'm going to just continue around. I'll show you where I am and how much is left. Whoops, there you go. So it won't take long to get around there. But in case you have clothes to get out of the dryer or something, <laughs> I'll do the, a couple more areas here and then be back when I'm close to the finish line. Be back in a bit. Okay, I'm working over here in the last section right now. This is really coming out beautiful. I love this bubble. This mesh, and I thought it was going to be hard to work with because it's not expensive. But let me tell you, it's soft and fans out pretty. And it's just easy to work with. Pull it out, push it back. Oh, let me see here. There we go. I'm going to get a couple more in here. And I have just about a couple more on my tube. That's one thing I love about this. You should have seen my rubbish barrel today. I threw away a whole bunch of partial pieces of mesh that I just was never going to find something to do with. And so I love it when I have a project that doesn't leave me with about two feet worth of mesh left, which isn't big enough to do much of anything. And these bubble wreaths basically take one whole roll of the 21 inch mesh and there goes my clock again. I'll be right back. Here we are. I just, um, I probably don't have to shut that off, but I don't have a clue of how much of one of these songs plays that then makes it a copyright issue. So I don't want to play around with that. <laughs> All right, I've got just this little bit right here. And I'm going to tie it down. I have a rainbow of colors in the back. And I'm going to take this piece and push it through to the back.
and that's still part of it. There you go. We will take this piece and just zip tie it. I'm trying to get it around the a middle one and I'm just making more work for myself. There you go. Now, let's see. I believe I brought some scissors up here with me. You know, it's when you're downstairs and you're trying to think of everything you need to bring upstairs. And chances are, aha, chances are you forget something. Let's see if we can figure out how many bubbles, because I'm always asked that. Let's we'll start right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 bubbles. And look at that. Isn't that a beauty? Isn't that a beauty? A little string here. Oh, let's see about a little beige bow here. It might I might keep it on. I think a little bow is nice. I think bubbles don't need a whole lot. Um because they're just classy in their own right. Let me just move this out of the way. Piece of wire. And I'm just gonna make about six inches. Okay, let's get a little zip tie. This is just a little something, something. And I have a whole pipe cleaner here. It will stick through the back.
this off. I don't really see that well. There it is. And like I said, when I get my other ribbons down, I'm going to see what else I can find to put on here. Okay, I'm going to bring you in and put you on the door and show you my secret. If you were smart enough to hang in there, be right back. Well, there you go. Isn't that a pretty bubble? I love it. Absolutely love it. And it's soft and subtle, su supple. You know what I mean. It squishes easy. <laughs> and it has uh, just that little bow, a little something, something. Do you notice anything special about it? Hmm. Wait a minute. Let's see. Do you notice now anything special about it? Look at that. You see, with a, with a bubble wreath, they're perfect for lighting. And I have a set of fairy lights wrapped around it. And, of course, the fairy lights comes with this little gizmo remote. And the remote has a timer on it right here in the middle. So you could have this on your front door or on the wall next to a window and set it to come on and it'll come on every night until the batteries run down and the battery box is just stuck up in there too it they they slip right in between the um bubbles so there you go a bubblicious bubble all it up So that's all I have for you today. We'll be back again on Sunday with something from the grill for camping or backyard grilling. And until then, I hope you all have a great afternoon. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Play by the rules. Wear your mask. Keep your distance. And everybody, play nice now. Love you. Bye-bye.